Can you modify our voices? I was literally going to say the same thing. Uh, it de- I guess it depends. I guess the listener right now listen to our voices yeah. and be like, oh my God, those are Alvin and the Chipmunks. No, it's Oscar and Carl. Yeah. Uh, we'll find out, huh? Do you we'll want to find out. Say something very confidently in the Chipmunk voice and we'll see if it uh, gets transformed. Trees and leaves. Uh, Technology at uh, our uh, 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 fingertips, and you and trees and, and trees and leaves. What I'm looking at, uh, okay. So, Jesus Christ, don't dox us, okay? My name's Oscar. We are, um, it's true, we are no trees and leaves. <laughs> I do take a bath. We do live in the forest. <laughs> it's true. My name's Oscar. My name's Carl. Who would watch this? Hello, Hello. 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 Welcome to Who Would Watch This, the podcast where we watch a film, chat about the film, and try and figure out who would watch this. Today we're talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks from 2007. It currently has a 5.2 on IMDb, 29% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 2.5 on Letterboxd. Oscar, what's the plot? Three musical chipmunks are discovered by an aspiring songwriter who wants to use their amazing singing ability to become famous. Yeah. I just watched Austin Powers. You seen it? <laughs> <laughs> so relevant. Yeah, baby. So big. <laughs> and so back. <laughs> You were like a revolving <laughs> circular waterbed, being like, "Do I make you random?" I, I all I want to do is quote the movie because it's that funny. It's that good. Uh, Carl, Alvin the Chipmunks. Uh, I'm pretty. Th- I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Wow. Okay. You know. Shit. Yeah. yeah that book huge. Yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah. Big. I don't want to give Sick. anything away, but you know what we should do before we do that. You know, let's go back to last week, huh? Oh, that's right. Throw it back. I want, why are we going back in time? Yeah, we're going to figure out who would watch it. That's, you know, the whole, you know, the spiel, huh? That's right. Move on forward. Keep going. We're going back in time. We're done. That's right. <laughs> Carl, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Okay. We are adults in our 20s. We are watching a film for men. What do we think about Out of the Chipmunks? Uh, do you remember it? Do you love it? Do you want to live it again? I've never seen this. <laughs> Whoa! I've, and I'm actually going to go so far as to say I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any Alvin and the Chipmunks medium stuff. Ever. You've never seen nor the TV show. Heard no. the heard you have you heard the Chipettes? Have you heard the Alvins? No. You know, Simon had a really sad album in the nineties. The Norths. Oh, it was grungy, but it works with time. Mm. With time. I know the concept. Of okay, them. hit me. What's the concept? I they sing. <laughs> And their voices are frustrating. Okay, okay. So you're pretty much 50% of the what the, the law. You've got most of the law. Uh, yeah, I would assume. Now, I don't get... know who Alvin is. Okay. I don't know who these chipmunks seem to be. Yes. And I know that someone like likes to cocky. yell <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> You, that's pretty much it. You know, I've I know. I've watched most of the stuff from 1958 up to now, uh, and that's pretty much most of what the media is about. Mm. Uh, I watched this when I was a child. Uh, oh. have this on DVD my sisters and I I can't remember loving it watched it a lot though mm. and something about it really has grabbed me yeah. uh, I and I do not have not gone back to the the seat I've gone no I'm done I was 10 I, I'm outgrown with Alvin but the sequels they they mystify me but this one I've seen a lot mm. and, I, and I, I I don't wouldn't say I love it but I've seen it a lot uh, seen a lot. I have. Why? It was your sisters. It just it was just a good DVD, you know. Uh, I can't remember. If I liked the music. I can't remember what it was, but I've seen this movie a lot. You know, mm. I'm pretty indifferent to it, but very passionately indifferent to it. You know, it's either I loved it or hated it, and it would change day to day. No, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a powerful piece of media, really. Yeah, Major things. What do you think? Definitely powerful. Yeah. I will assume this will start a war in 700 years. Yeah. I reckon this is going to be our new Bible. It's crazy as well, because it's like kind of the new like Old Testament. Yeah. New Testament's chipettes. Oh, know, I'm not sequel. surprised. Who would I watch got... this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you want to enjoy the will and testament of the future. <laughs> I'm going to say a uh, 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 road chipper is going to get a lot out of this, the origin story of the uh, Alvin Chipmunk story. I, I worked at a cinema when the, I want to say Chipwreck came Chipwrecks, out. Chipwreck, I believe, was the third one. Yeah, so the third one was coming out, and it was a big hit at the cinema that I was working at, and I had not seen one. Um, but I know that kids were going freaky over it. I got to tell you, the, the, more, the more I remember, I feel like it's a fever dream of like 80s Coke. Like mm. no one can really tell you why it was so good, but everyone keeps going on about it. Yeah. And that's what and it felt like. And people still the, love it. Still, still love it. The movie made so much money. Oh, and yeah. the second one made a lot of money and then they all made a little bit less. They all made a little bit less, but they definitely all yeah. made about a billion dollars, <laughs> which is pretty crazy, right? They did not make a billion dollars. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. 
This one made combined. Oh, combined. Sorry, yes. 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 They made over a billion. Yeah. Yeah. One did it's not a, make a billion. It's a billion dollar franchise. franchise. There we yes, go. Yes. There we go. I was like, there this isn't go. a Transformers situation. No, no, no. Again, but Road Chip did cross 900 mil. That's the <laughs> thing. It's true. They did give Avatar a fight for its money. <laughs> James Cameron's like, fucking hell, Alvin. Oh my God. Chipmunks. Uh, yeah. Who would watch this? You're saying people in the future that need to, like, you know, kind of contextualize why we have gods. Uh, it was true. No, I also children and sad parents yes when i was looking at the cinema and like parents would buy a ticket they weren't excited to see this. i feel like because they'd the, seen the other two they of knew course, what was they coming. Knew it was, it's not going to change its pace it's, yeah. it's money i feel like although i was a 10 and a child i think i had an adult's energy about me i went that's very that's very grating i think i understood that as a 10 year old <laughs> so i guess i guess you for- lecturing your friends being like oh you enjoy that it's very grating it's very grating i guess who would watch do you this- not enjoy kubrick <sighs> you 10 year old pubescence i was uh, i was actually reading at a quite a high level carl no 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 who would watch this i guess foolish children and foolish adults yeah coming for you the big the big alvin and the chipmunk fans huh oh there you go there you go I think this movie's gonna be crap. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Fucking prove me wrong, Oscar. It's gonna be shit. Carl, it's now post you watching the film, and you've been very sick. I have. And I gotta tell you, if there's one thing I want to do when I'm feeling like my brain is really foggy and really messy, and all I want to do is curl up and read, you know, just let. Let curl medicine... and read. No, curl up and let medicine, like oh, yeah. strong medication, take me away into a driftful, lovely bliss. I think the chipmunks screaming at me might, you know, heal me a bit more. Did it? Did it, did it do you well? This movie, I I did have to watch when I was maybe at the height of my sickness. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been very, very put down in mm. terms of whatever the fuck it is I've caught. Um, this movie was garbage <laughs> pure fucking garbage for the brain put me in a foul mood made me sicker mm. um deeply upsetting to mm. watch a really really sickening film um i don't know if i could even explain to you what their voices sounded like to mm. me they nails on a chalkboard yep. but like that's in a blender with nails yeah and another chalkboard just disgusting. I gotta tell you, some of it kind of warmed up to me a little Fuck bit. Off. The some no, of when it... they began this with like bad day, jamming a tree with nuts, yeah, singing the way they were. I went, oh, oh not a whole movie of this, not this, surely not anything. I tell but you, this. this is a pretty acoustic. This is pretty like standard, just chipmunk esque. We go a bit more power ballad by the uh, second act, and it's a lot. Uh, they do. That- I also wasn't I wasn't aware that it was going to be a jukebox musical. I thought they were going to be original songs. These are original songs. The artists have taken them from the chipmunks. Oh, okay. I've got a lot of They've lore. been weir- weird out. They've been weird out, exactly. <laughs> right, I read okay. a lot of I was reading a lot because I I'll be honest, while I was watching this I went Damn, I really know the beats pretty well. I can kind of see Really? Sit yeah, I was wow. very surprised. That was formulaic. It could be either of the two. Who knows? Um, I've got two things to say about the film overall. Mm. It is pretty much a music biopic if these characters had, like, I don't live lived... 30 years ago and we've seen like how they got their rise yeah it's the structure of it's pretty much just elvis walk the line oh it's bohemian rhapsody Bohemian. Tea. oh exactly when the chipmunks get a's at the end oh <laughs> it's 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 so powerful it's powerful when uh, brian when... may was like <laughs> i should be in it more <laughs> um that i went back and i had a look at like what the chipmunks even are because they're they're like minions essentially but they're from mm. like the 1950s. Yeah. They're like on the Dick Cavett show. Yeah. Wow, they mustn't have done anything racist or insensitive in the 1950s. No, they were pretty good. However, their first song was Witch Doctor, where they're wearing like the tribal mask. You know, for 50s, the chipmunks are pretty spotless. I'll say. Actually? Yeah. Is Witch Doctor their song? I thought this was crazy. For some reason, I don't know, the art department or the script person that's written it has gone back and looked at the stuff. Get this. So you know the song Witch Doctor? Yeah. Original, written in 1950. Guess by who? <sighs> Roll Dahl. No, Dave Seville, the actor, the character in this film, Dave. Who's Dave in this? Uh, Jason Alexander. Jason, uh, Jason, the main guy. Dave. 
the main guy, Alvin's owners. <laughs> Jason Lee. Wrote Jason it. Lee. Or his character. His character. They've named Jason's character Dave after the origi- uh, the actual story. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. So... He- Someone has not time-travelled. That's not why I'm okay, saying. Okay, right, okay. So what you're saying is... So what is it... And then the Alvin and the Chipmunks the did wi- a cover of that song. No, 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 no. The, the man who wrote Witch Doctor was like, Hey, I've got this little weird high-pitched thing at the end, and people love it. Oh. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to create Chipmunks and this character that I'm also Dave, and Ice Cream Alvin. And that's how it's... like. It, it's crazy. At the start, they had the, the it down-packed. They were done. So did he create Alvin and the he Chipmunks? He created Alvin and the Chipmunks. So the guy that wrote Witch Doctor yes. created the concept of Alvin and the yes. Chipmunks. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then they've incorporated that into this movie. Yes. Which is very weird because it seems like like all the media past Alvin and the Chipmunks, like Dave's not in this, you yeah. know? But it's just weird. They start with I the would have loved it mm. if they had played this as an actual biopic set in the 50s, mm. but as if he'd actually found Chipmunks. 100%. That would have been really clever. It'd be a, quite a lot for a kid, but it would be kind of fun if he actually found Chipmunks. He had to make them pretend puppets, yeah. but they really could sing. Yeah, he found actual Chipmunks, and he was like, but people won't be able to comprehend no. Chipmunks that can talk, yeah. so we've got to fake you guys into... Oh, God, we've got a Paddington on our hands. Oh, my God, literally, right? Not a Paddington 2. We couldn't possibly strive. We tried and we couldn't. We can't. But I just thought that was pretty nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. Because I've got a lot of notes about Witch Doctor being in Okay, huge. Why? Just that it shouldn't be there Um, or it should? One, it shouldn't be there. (laughs) I'm going to tell you right now, because Jason Lee's character, Dave, I understand where he got the inspo to write the Christmas song. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck did he pull Witch Doctor out of his arsehole from? That's the thing. The film's kind of going, like, going, hey, let's... you know, it's kind of like a wink and a nudge to all like the big Alvin the Chipmunk fans. I don't know, Marvel contains like a comic book character, and mm. people go, Oh, that's cool. But I guess for Alvin heads, but I don't know who those are. Yeah, I mean, it's like because David Cross is like, You've got a week mm. to write me a mega hit, and he turns in Witch Doctor. And I don't know if anyone, if, it, if that song hasn't existed yet. Would go. I guess we're in this universe that Dave also did write Witch Doctor. And I you guess just wrote just, it later? It's like, oh, it was going to be a hit no matter when it came out in time. I think he's right for that. You know it was the third gro- the biggest song of the 50s? Oh, it doesn't. it's catchy as hell. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know if it would really be... Ca- like Unless it was maybe a YouTube kids channel song like mm. Baby Shark. Yeah. I don't think that song's catching on That's now. That's crack as well. Uh, let's get into the plot. These chipmunks are saving up for the winter. Uh-oh, their tree is da- down. We get introduced to Justin Long as Alvin and the... Ch- why Alvin. would you bother? Casting Justin? Well, yeah, why would you bother any paying any what famous weir- person for the this voice acting I, if you're going to modify Well, they it. had the... Because like, there was a comic or like a cartoon mm. that was around the same time. And they went, no, 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 I'm sorry. You guys cannot be in this. You don't have the star power. Let me tell you, we have Justin Long, fresh off the Apple window commercial. Simon Gruber, he has not peaked yet, and he won't for another couple of years. And I shit you not, if you think we're going to end it hot, we're ending it hotter. Jesse goddamn McCartney. Yeah, four years past his hit song. (laughs) So yeah, this bill's going to make a billion fucking dollars. Goodbye, original voice cast. I was enthralled. What a weird gang of people, huh? It's 2007 in a nutshell. Why would you bother? I don't know. It seemed like an absolute task. Uh, what did they pay these people? I don't know. A, a measly bill? Because they're C-listers. Yeah. Like, but it's like you could probably get, you could probably pay E-listers. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe there's not that much difference in paycheck from an E to a C. I guess it's voice acting. I guess they might have tricked them and gone. Is this. it voice acting? Like, I think the challenge is that, like, to get the high speed, uh, the chipmunks uh, iconic sound, uh, they have to speak fifty cents slower. So they're like, I told the witch doctor. So I mean, our opener is gonna be completely butchered. But that's how they have to do it. I don't know if that's a skill. What do you mean our opener? You're doing the full podcast in that, right? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad we said that. Absolutely need to. Yeah, we need to slow this down, and then we need to, you know, yeah. Okay. (laughs) You just kind of whispered. You didn't do it slower. That's going to be a really quick shush. Leaves and trees. Let's get into... (laughs) 
let's get into it. So Alvin and Chipmunks, you know, they're they're not they're, they're just you know they're living a tree. Their home gets taken. This is a Christmas movie, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. What's the timeline of this film? Two weeks. About so, yeah. yeah. I mean, things move quickly. We yeah. get introduced to Dave, played mm. by Jason Lee. Mm. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, where the hell has Jason Lee been? I guess that My Name is Earl money really came in handy. I will say, when I watched My Name is Earl as a kid and Alvin the Chipmunks, I did think it was a bit, I was a bit, oh, he's really, really let himself go. My Name's Earl, you know, you were a big time movie star and now look at you, really, <laughs> really dragging, you know, it's pretty sad. Uh, I now see the error of my ways, mm. uh, L on me, but um, he yeah. has to work hard in this. I yeah, I was sort of like, man, his performance is a bit weird. But I'm like, you know what? He is in an empty house yeah. for an hour of the film. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to tell the listener about something that's happening with me at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really obsessed with the trailer for If. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get everybody to go and watch it. I got to tell you, it's an insufferable bit. It is. A, it is an insufferable bit. And Carl it's lands be, every time. It I bring is it yet up. to land. No one has gotten into it. We we're very fearful to give him the remote, a phone. He's like, "Hey, check this out." Our group chats have been ruined, savaged by him. He's like, "Hey, here's just some updates. Here's the new poster. Here's the new trailer. <laughs> hey, guys, I've just got an email alert that you know we might be able to see it got early." Google alerts on for if yeah, trying to get us early tickets. I got to tell you, it's by far one of the worst bits you've ever decided to commit to. And yet we have to really bring it out. But you put the trailer out. on all the time, Carl. Go on, say your say your little. What, Either what way, say? look, this is this is this is coming back to something. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, one of the things was I recently saw a movie and the if trailer was on in front of it, and the crowd obviously went wild. Um, but watching this, mm. I was like, it's interesting how far acting against nothing has come. Yes. Okay. So I think because I was like. I whatever whatever's going to happen with if mm. you know I do believe Ryan Reynolds really is talking to imaginary friends yeah like I mean, it's like he is like it's like the same thing where it's like oh, you see like a lot of the so much of like acting in Transformers and all of those movies is just nothing yeah and it's like wow people have gotten really good at acting against the nothing mar- against the Marvel I feel like that's like so like those all those big blockbusters are like we're gonna do it all in green screen yeah I think they're just like we actually need we can't just do a tennis ball anymore yeah, we need to do right. a bit more yeah so it's like I don't know what's happened there but I was like this type of performance from Jason Lee I don't think would actually hack it now mm. like you that's it's simply not good enough yeah but I don't know if that's the parameters of the filmmaking at the time because mm. it's like how Bob well, Hoskins sh- in Oh, uh, 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 rabbits! What's it called? Who yeah. framed? Ro- Roger yeah, who framed? Who, who framed Roger Rabbit? And mm-hmm. he's like, doesn't know where to look. Yes, and you know, so then they had to make them all bouncy. Yeah, but it's crazy. At the time, they weren't like, well, let's get a tennis ball and a stick. Mm. And like, hang on. that was that was massive for the uh, the technology. For yeah, the people were blown away by that. Yeah, I gotta tell you, Phantom Menace. You know, gets a lot of slack. When George Lucas put a little tennis ball on a stick, people fucking lost their minds. It's true, and I think it really comes alive. It Jar went- Jar is huge. Massive for tennis balls. Yeah, really exactly. brought it back into the fourth. I gotta tell you, tennis was taking a slope. I mean, and it really brought the whole game back. And I gotta tell you, they didn't get another big bump until old people started putting them on their walkers. That's right. You know, that's a huge thing. For until balls. people found other uses for tennis balls, tennis balls were a dying breed. <laughs> they were almost gone. They were almost gone. Yeah, used for a sport I couldn't even name. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, his performance is not great. However, you kind of go... You give it to him. You give it to him, and it's also yeah. an Alvin the Chipmunk He's movie. also, yeah, I know. Do you think anyone who pitched this and then also was like, it's going to make a lot he of He must have thought it was going to be a flop. He yeah. must have thought this was going to be a Marmaduke. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Marmaduke hadn't come out yet. No. But surely you would read this and go, this is a Marmaduke. Yeah. You'd look at David Cross and you'd both be like, we know what we're both well, I mean, like, I, I was just trying to figure out what the actual vibe of Alvin Chipmunks are. Because, like, what is this franchise that's been around for 50 years the credits roll at the end and they show like all the sort of posters and like all the stuff they've been doing. They did like an X-Files parody with Alvin and Chipmunks. I don't know who. I, I was looking them up and so many of their movies are like with spooky characters. It's like Alvin and the Chipmunks meets Dracula. Yeah, I feel like they just jumped in the... I don't know if they're like part of Warner Brothers or like Hannah yeah. Barbarian. They were like, fuck it, Scooby-Doo, but they're Chipmunks. Yeah, I that have no idea. Do. Um, yeah, we meet Dave and he's giving a performance. Good yeah. for Jason Lee. I, huh? They do a great job at making Dave's life just sad. Yeah. In the same day that he gets Chipmunks, mm. his Death Cab for Cutie song is apparently terrible. Mm. Uh and it is, he loses it his is, job. Oh, it yeah, is it is terrible. It's a Hey There Delight no, ripoff. But here's it's the, not good. Here's the thing, though. I don't trust anyone's opinion after they greenlight that terrible Christmas song 
slung by Alvin and the Chipmunks. You now here's the almost the like we can't criticize the film of like how the hell are these chipmunks made it so big? Because so Cause many they did make big, it big. exactly every it's single so true, song yeah. on this on like you like Bad Romance has six hundred million. Shut plays. up. Okay. Does it really? It does. Fuck right off. There are so many chipmunk songs. I looked on YouTube. Someone posted one three days ago. It already had a hundred thousand. Like people are still listening to the chipmunks. They are a craze. And it Who makes is it sense. for? Who would again? Enjoy it this? is just crack for children. It scratches an itch that I think you must grow out of when you turn twelve. It is nuts. I can't explain it. Yeah. But yeah, Dave is having a shit life. His he lives in a great house though. He's, he's got Isn't no his job. house God amazing. The GFC had not hit. It's two thousand seven. Oh he's got three mortgages. Like, well, this will never go down. It's like Nancy Myers <laughs> came onto the set just to do the house. <laughs> I was like, this is cozy as hell. God, it's cozy hell, isn't it's it? It's so good. Um, yeah, his life's shit. Uh, we meet Ian, the producer, the radio. Uh, sorry, not the. We also meet Ian, who is uh, Dave's adversary. Mm. He's the record label owner. David Cross is giving a performance. That is terrific. And also, you can tell he want, does not want to be there. He absolutely doesn't want to be there. And any sarcastic thing that's coming out of his mouth is gold. Mm. It's Just really because good. somebody's... Jason Lee's been told now, you're on the movie for a very long time, so you do not get to have fun. You well, will stick to the script. I just think Jason has to be like, you know, like... You love these chipmunks. He goes, fuck me, Dad. And Dave's like, you get to actually probably at one point kick them to death. He's like, oh, good. I can actually really act that really love well. Love that. He's like, love being cruel to the chippies. All I would love to... I've just got like, a lot of podcast clips of him like talking about it recently. I think the film must have done... Or his NDAs run out. But he's just like, man, first one was okay. Then when it got big and I had to do the other three... Jason Lee? No, David Cross. He comes back for the sequels? He's in all of them. David he, Cross is? Yeah. He, like, you should check out all the podcasts. He's like, I wanted to just strangle everybody. This was the worst <laughs> filmmaking experience, which is the only reason why I do want to keep watching them, just to see what, you know, he brings to those. Like, mm. what's he in the fourth one? That's a, because his contract was like, oh, you have, if this is a big hit, you've got to sign for a three picture deal, thinking this is just a cash grab. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I guess he would have made good money, though. Shh. Oh, you'd hope so. You'd yeah. hope so. Yeah. This is back in the time when they gave everybody residuals. Streaming wasn't around. Yeah. A billion dollar franchise. Yeah. Surely he got some good more. Hopefully, hopefully. And Jason Lee was probably getting even more. It's probably why we don't even see Jason Lee anymore. It's because Jason Lee is so chipmunk rich. Yeah, we've got the My Name is Earl. Does, I feel streaming that. I feel that's the one show that oh, yeah, really never just, never yeah. came back. No. I would love Scrubs to get a boost. Of uh, back his streaming. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really push. I, I tried watching Scrubs. I've never seen Scrubs. And it was a bit hard to get it's into. It's a bit dated. Yeah. I love Scrubs because obviously I watched it. Mm. But yeah, I can imagine. It's definitely when it, like the first episodes are in that square format. Yeah. And you're like, wow, this was shot on film. <laughs> <laughs> but Scrubs is great. Yeah. Um. Anyway, well, something that really threw me about these chipmunks. Mm. Uh, they are children? Yes. Youthful. Yeah. They're full of youth. Throughout the film, they I don't like go, that. You don't like that at all, do you? Yeah. Really? Okay. I think they should be adults. What, what's your take on this? I mean, it, it kind of explains why they, they're so predator. They're so easy to be convinced. I uh, guess, but you reckon you could probably write that away and they're chipmunks. Oh, you want to talk down chipmunks' intelligence? Okay. Absolutely. Well, let's get into why I think you're a bigot. Okay, that's <laughs> fucked Please, up, by man. all means. Let's just, let's unpack it all. Uh, are they the only talking animals ever? Yes, I think this is a big universe thing. I think, uh, I, I don't know why I'm going to do this. I'm going to praise Ted for this. I think Ted explained it pretty well. Remember the Ted movie? Mm, yeah. They go, hey, it's a talking bear. Everyone goes, that's fucking insane. And then after 20 years, everyone's like, well, we've, we've seen it now. It's done. Yeah. I think these are the only talking chipmunks. Yeah. Okay. That's impressive. Yeah. And okay. they should have, a, obviously, a big glow up. You know, yeah. like that's, they should have a couple of years of fame. Yes. Which is chipmunks. what we see. Well, it's frustrating because nobody ever calls it out, but then it comes back as a line at the end mm. when they're just like, well, they're going to just keep ruining your concerts. And yes. he's like, they're talking chipmunks. The tickets will sell. Yes. And I was like, oh yeah, of course I they wrote will. down the exact same note when. But <laughs> the rest of the movie doesn't hold under that concept no. that they're talking chipmunks. No. I mean, I mean, Dave at the start is a bit freaked out for a half a second, but then he sees those dollar signs in his eyes. Yeah. I mean, Dave at the start, but like he's like a mess. Oh, he's a mess. Uh, you know what? Even though he's got their best interest at heart, I don't think he does. I think he's Dave money. throws away like forty thousand dollars worth of 
equipment out oh, into yeah. the rain. Oh, just crashes it. He's having a dreadful time. He's having a bad day. Yeah. Um, if I was him, I probably would have killed these chipmunks. He loses his job. Yep. Potentially a shot with his ex. Yes, the and ex. What do we think is... of the ex? I, I, I don't get this whole thing. It seems like they broke up. And they live together or near each other in this little cul-de-sac. Again, he has no job and he has a beautiful home. It does hurt. Yeah, I don't think they have any idea what they're doing, who they are, how they're living, how things will ever be or ever would be. Mm. Um, I don't know why anybody, in terms of Dave's character, who would ever love Dave? Oh, no, no, no. He's absolutely nothing. Dave's terrible. He's dreadful. Once you see what Dave's like, like the fact that he's like, my emotional support system will be three chipmunks, you go, oh, okay, you should he not date so, people. I don't know what him and Claire got up to he is so emotionally closed off he will not let three chipmunks into his heart and that's really the villain of this of the whole program i maybe would have stayed with dave for the house yeah like that is i can't imagine he must be on rent control yeah he's working gig economy again it's 2007 he got a mortgage very easily the banks were lending out many should we just talk about mortgages we're never gonna get one what's the fucking what's going on in the world conversation over we won't get one Unless this podcast blows up, huh? How are you guys? If pay you us would money? like to send us, I don't know, a cool million, yeah. <laughs> you can Venmo us at askwwtpodcast.gmail.com. <laughs> also, so once Dave gets these three chipmunks, yes, he finds out they can sing, yeah, and then he somehow they get the leeway in negotiating. Oh well, here's the problem. the negotiation scene. No, this, threw is, me. This, this is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so. Dave goes, okay, you guys can sing. We're going to take you to Ian. And Ian's like, hey, I've got a meeting at 12. Dave's got some thinking to show me. He brings three rats to his office and then pretty much gets Michelin J frogged uh, by Ian, which is just embarrassing, really. (laughs) Michelin J frog, you know, the hello, my baby, hello, my darling. Yeah. Hello, my ragtag girl. Yeah. Yeah, That happens exactly to Dave. Wow. It's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, Then the chipmunks go, we feel bad. We fucking destroyed Dave's house. We just fucking shat everywhere. Horrible mess. Let's go back to Ian at night and sing him our beautiful song. Ian, again, is not surprised at chipmunks. He is just- They sneak into his home. Yeah. He just sees money. I want to talk at length about what deal did Ian get out of these chipmunks? Because one, and I, I, I will say it, I'm bigoted. These chipmunks are fools. Oh, they're absolutely. They're, they're also fools. children. They're idiots. Yeah, they they're are chi- children that are chipmunks. So they cannot be smart. What ironclad contract did Ian get them to sign? Because Dave never discusses money, and I think these chipmunks are. And blood. he's putting money away for them. Like, for their retirement? Yes. Dave's in control of their finance. Yes. It's like a conservatorship. How much do you reckon Dave's getting? I don't know. It seems like the chipmunks are getting... Because at one point, Alvin's like, hey, we're getting a cool $20 a day. They are selling toys, stadiums. Like, they're easily a billion dollar franchise. It's like a pre-sold out worldwide tour with them by the end of the movie. Well, they get China, so that's why they get all the money. So it's huge. I don't know... Where the money... I'm assuming Ian's getting like 90% of the funds. I'm thinking Dave's getting a a, a 9%. I think these chipmunks are getting 1%. Wow. I've got some news. Hit me. Um, This is going to change, I think, how we talk about what their contract would entail. Okay, huge. Uh, The average lifespan for a chipmunk? Oh, no. Three years. Okay. So these are kids. Yeah. Right? So they've got to be... Because they even say in the movie that once a parent gives birth, they're, they're out. After yeah. a week. Yeah. You know, like the chipmunks. Just we know chipmunk law. That's, that's how Everybody knows chipmunk law. Yeah. They're not like owls. No. You, you, we, everybody just knows chipmunks. Yes. So they've really only got a year before retirement. Yeah. Right? I, I would say two and a half years. Well, you're not going to let them have six months with their money. What do you mean? So I'm just saying, I think, I think they're, they're a couple months old. Yeah, then you got to give them a couple months leeway to get big, and then you got to give them a year of tour. We've well, no, they've gone big in two weeks. Again, they are talking chipmunks, Carl. They are massive. Already. Oh, I know, but look, they're big. They're big in two weeks, but you got to give them time to carve out a career. Mm. You know, like it's well, you know, what they're, they're doing the eras tour again. Yeah. It's chipmunk. Well, years. they're not. That's the thing. They need to build up to an eras tour. Well, they've got Christmas and the other one. That's yeah, that's it. They've only that's got two. two. Eras. They've that's only two got eras. two. That's, that's two eras. absolutely. They've got Christmas and witch dog. They've got yeah. They've got Halloween and Christmas sorted. Yeah, they need another couple of festivals. If they can get. Easter, they're good for life. Oh, What's they your... nail Easter. Oh, they anyway, what I'm with... saying is, do we think their contract stipulated that they have to work really hard to capitalize on the fact they're going to die soon? Yes. 
Yes. It is a shame, dare I say, that the music industry got hold of as chipmunks. However, I do think science really should be the ones really spearheading them. Although they're going to make a lot of money, it will be a weird after the three years go, hey, how do those chipmunks talk? Uh, I think that is the big question on everyone's lips, really. And how can we harness this uh, technology, maybe for warfare, possibly, you know? I'm just thinking as a scientist, mm, you know? That's very true. And here's the thing. Although music records sell, sell a lot, a missile sells a lot. And a dog that can do it uh, comfortably, wowee, we're in business, huh? You get a bunch of ants that can chat, wow. <laughs> we're going to win some wars, huh? Again, this podcast is pro-war. We should really say that. Um, it is... It's crazy now. They're, they're, they're locked into this uh, Christmas song. Yeah, I know. I guess they're Chris, like they're the Michael Bublé yeah. of uh, animals. You, you'd be fuming if you were Michael Bublé. Could you imagine? Oh, you imagine, imagine being imagine muscled out by three chipmunks. Having Christmas down packed yeah. and then getting shat on by three chipmunks. <sighs> Ugh, Mariah they, Carey. Mariah Carey should be the villain. Oh, 100%. wouldn't that be a great film? Honestly, it would be great that they kind of put aside that they're chat talking chipmunks and just more just like that was my we fucking season. We could pitch season. this. This is this is. You know great. what? A bunch of artists trying to uh, trying to take down the prison. chipmunks because yeah. they can't compete with talking animals. Wow, it sounds like a bad film, but I would love to watch so, it. Nah, if you did it in the vein of um, what's the John Mulaney, Andy Samberg, Chip and Dale? If you did yeah. it in the vein of Chip and Dale, I'm thinking pop star never stop popping. You know, never stop, never popping. Yeah, never pop, 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 stopping. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, nice. Um, I've also found out about chipmunks. Yeah. Uh, they only sleep. They have to sleep 15 hours a day. Whoa. Okay. Okay, huge. So you're not going to get a lot of work out. Of, so they're going to die young and not work hard. And let's They're actually the worst artists to work with. Yeah. Damn, that really sucks. Because, you know, data... Uh, no, so... Sorry. It's actually probably equivalent to just working with a drug addict artist that dies at 27. That's my thing. Because I think... Now, there's some metaphors here. I did mention that it's very similar to biopics, like all music biopics. Mm. The waffle, the whipped cream, and like them, you know, having, you know coffee yeah it's a metaphor for coke and heroin absolutely and they are tired toys and... are heroin oh yes yeah. they're sluts and whores that's exactly are. what it is and the film doesn't want to dance around it but i think it does a pretty well good job of it's crazy they've done the exact formula of that just mm. for the chipmunks it kind of makes all music biopics awful when out the chipmunks can nail it absolutely yeah and, and on be one of the higher grossing biopics yeah i think it really should be put in there really did you have trouble focusing on i could tell one of the chipmunks apart because they mm. were short but the other two alvin and the smart one I, until I, that other one gets glasses on i've got no idea I, I okay i feel like maybe this is just one the essence of simon and alvin we should talk about the actual characters themselves they're very dimensional one <laughs> Alvin's the bad boy. That's why he gets the hoodie and the A. Yeah. Ian even mentions you're the cool one, you get the A. I think that's a fun... It's mention. a great line. It's, it's a, a great gr line. It's a dynamite line in a sea of nothing happening. Simon is a fucking pussy, but he's the brains of the operation, okay? You gotta have you gotta have your Nile there, you know? Mm. And Nile was the brains. And then Theodore is a young little chipmunk. Ready. He's the baby face one. He's gorgeous. I think the character design is flawless. And I think the colors just add to it, huh? Okay, but I don't get you don't get to enjoy that and when they're all just naked squirrels. That's why Ian says put some clothes on. I'll be honest, Ian's kind of us in this film. Ian really does nail all the little criticisms I have. He's, he's, like, he's annoyed to he's, be there like he's us. Like, well, he's just like, you know what? Put them in some sweaters. I can't tell them apart. And quite frankly, I don't want to hear them singing. He's great. It's so true. I'm on Ian's side. Let's get into it. They start getting a bit strung out, you know? They like, get strung out so easily. Yeah. And then they immediately sever their deal with Dave. Yeah. I don't know why they become... They're, they don't really have a friendship with Dave. It really turns into like a parental thing. I think so. But they don't, they don't have like a father, I guess. But they're not meant to have a they're father. Not, they're not meant to. So but it again, doesn't even matter. You say that, but that's regular chipmunks. We're talking about talking and like they're, they're it talking. It should be twofold. Do we, do we think I their think parents left them quicker because they talked? I think, well, they're freaks. In, in, if you're a chipmunk and you've given birth to Alvin or Simon or Theodore, yeah. you're going to be like, what the hell is that? Is I it mean, the equivalent of if I was born, but I was, I was not speaking English living in with an English fan like you'd just be like well where have you picked that up from it would be a bit surreal if you one you gave birth two mm. you gave birth to a child that was speaking out of the womb which is very impressive but then also like Mandarin yeah. would, that would be impressive yeah. I don't know whether you would turn them into like some sort of singing act I probably I, would I'd probably put an A money, on their chest the like money, the Scarlet Letter <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the A is there because Simon is an adult. He's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that A is there. Oh, He's a, a red damn a? slut. Jesus Christ, Alvin. <laughs> and they pound puss. It's not. It's, it's in there. It's in there. When we say that, we mean cats. <laughs> You ever yeah. seen chipmunks nailing a cat? <laughs> Happens all the time in New York. <laughs> the, the land of the free, it seems. <laughs> we um, thought it was going to happen in LA, where this film is set, but no, it's mostly New York. No, New York. New York's really the slutty chipmunk scene. It's very, yeah. Chinatown? Yeah, that ain't what's called. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get Dave. Dave kind of lets go of these magical talking chipmunks pretty easily to Ian. He doesn't really put up much for he's, a fight. He's deeply sick of them, and I agree. One of them, <laughs> one of them's just like, "Can I sleep with you?" And he's like, "Yes," but on the other side of the bed. And it's like, "Cool, I'm gonna go around the neck." <laughs> Why are you around the neck? How much money would I would have swat that chipmunk away? I gotta tell you right now, if you found three chipmunks mm. and they've got an amazing record deal, yeah. but they have to live with you, how much money do they have to be bringing in for you not to like kick them, you know, out? Oh, I could just like casually <laughs> kick them. Here's the thing. I think I'd probably, I, it, it would be, I would probably want like minimum a mil a year. A mil a year. Okay. Yeah. But three chipmunks live and they're, they're causing havoc. Here's the thing. I'm, li- I'm living off much less than that. Yeah. So a mil's a lot. Yeah. Right. But if it's, I'm not allowed to just even lightly kick them. Mm. Five. Five. Okay. Yeah, huge. five a year. Okay, what about huge. you? I mean, what are we saying? Verbally assault? Like, what can I do? Like, oh, I mean, like... he's yelling at Alvin left, right, and center. Yeah. The it's... verbal assault in the household's actually bad. I probably would have sent them to another home as well. They could have gone to that place that uh, Stuart Little ends up at the beginning of his film. That awful orphanage. That Sorry? dreadful little orphanage. That's nice, right? Also, I gotta tell you, we should start going to orphanages and try and picking up talking animals. I feel like there's a treasure trove and they could all be. They usually monetized. be. By the time I get there, they're usually sold out. Oh. <laughs> I want you to say grown up like you go ah oh, a talking rat but he's in his mid 30s I don't want him I'd do it if they had a Brooklyn accent <laughs> and a little jacket to, <laughs> to seal oh, the deal oh they're sort of a bit like cockney and oh, they've yeah. kind of got some like side action going on they've kind yeah. of got in with the wrong crowd mm. I'd tick that mice up real quick I'd, I'd absolutely adopt an animal if it's already lived a life I, like <laughs> just like if a dog was like oh yeah I've been in a hot air balloon <laughs> like, like holy shit Weave me some stories, why don't you, young lab? <laughs> That's the thing. You know what? It, you'd want these album chipmunks at like the just before they turn three. Just like I was on tour, man. It was fucking wild. We were eating waffles and shit, hanging out with Dave. It was fucking sick, man. That's the thing. You could get through so many animals if you were getting like a chipmunk at like two and a half years old. You'd be yeah. like, well, I'm gonna milk this one. I'd maybe just write autobiographies. Yeah, don't you think like you just well, you like... just you would just commission biopics. Yeah, Essentially, that's, right. that's what just this sell... is. Oh my god! Do you not if... see Alvin and the Chipmunks? This is our win to LA. Well, Theodore did die, but did you not see him at the uh, premiere? Alvin was very old. They've all gone very sober. Very Theodore great. can never get off the stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, Simon dead, OD'd in a bar, face down. Simon OD'd. Got Oppenheimer and wifed. Uh, Alvin got very sober and started doing a very bland podcast. And Theodore's just been off the rocks. People think he's drinking though. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Fun fact, that podcast does a lot better than ours. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, it's Alvin, you know? <laughs> he can get some good guests. We can't, okay? Right. He's actually just the Joe Rogan of the animal community. <laughs> um, okay, so essentially, uh, again, it is follows the exact uh, plot of every biopic. The, the chipmunks get enamored by fame and wealth and the good life. They get toys, coke... They get, uh, I guess they also do get women. At one point, Their backup singers, there's something going on there. There is. Simon's like, we got a masseuse. Sorry. Oh, so Sim- I hated stuff yeah. like this. Sorry, I wait. hated these jokes. Let me jump it up. Simon is also like, oh, we got a uh, housekeeper. She's also a masseuse. Wow. Is, hated that. Is the mas- is the is the housekeeper giving giving the chipmunk something? What is this? I hated how horny the chipmunks were. Uh, Simon, it, it was it, actually disgusting. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They go. We don't know what sex is, and yet they're humping. Who's day. that? So that means that jokes for the older audience. The kids, they're not going to know. I think as a kid, I knew that Simon was getting head by this this housekeeper. I think I went, that's crass. That's a bit nuts. blue. It's, a bit blue. And you know what? It is. It's off color. And it's because he's blue. It's and deeply off color. That's why Simon's blue, you know? <laughs> Simon's a bit blue with the humor. Alvin's a slut because he's red. And Theodore just loves the environment, huh? They've really color coded them really Theodore well. just goes for it. He does for it. We stand Theodore. He's feral. He loves weed, though, as well. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, he's absolutely the turtle. <laughs> he's, he's turtle from Entourage. That's what he is. <laughs> 
Man, he, he could I've run not, Seven Bucks Productions. I've not seen Entourage. I guess that's a great joke. I don't know. Is that is Turtle big in Entourage? Turtles, they're like driver. Gotcha. What is the they show? Make, they, he's do the they punching around, bag of do, the group. Do they just go around fucking? Is that kind of is it? Is it kind it's of sex, sex in the city for men? It's tight. It's just they're like, wow, isn't it sick to just be getting high, making movies, being rich and fucking bitches? Damn. And all men were like, this is why we tune into HBO. <laughs> One episode is just about whether or not the movie they've made is going to open bigger than Spider-Man. Did it? It's pretty thrilling, <laughs> and it did. <laughs> it's got so many famous people in it. Really? Damn. Yeah, like so many so many directors who... So many directors and producers mm. who just don't act. Like James Cameron's in like three eps. Wow, huge. Like, yeah, like it, it's like they're at Sundance, like shot at Sundance, trying to get a movie off the ground and yeah. stuff like that. It's fun if you're in the movie and you can pass the very dated misogyny <laughs> of the of the show. Surely not. I recently watched Devil Wears Parada. I was like, that man pops. Put him in a whole TV show, and there you go, Entourage Man. Anyway, so I guess he's Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Theodore is Turtle. Yeah. Anyway. The boy None of enough. them are giving E. The boy. The fun fact about E in Entourage <laughs> is that actor that plays E, he went and directed Gotti. Really? Yeah, oh, huge for E. Huge. Yeah. Is Entourage named after E? Because do all their names make up the Entourage name? Like no. someone named Tr- like uh, like E and then Turtle Tourist. <laughs> and then you got is there a Raj there? Is there like a Big Bang Raj there? No. Oh. They're all too confident. <laughs> Okay. Raj is the one that doesn't talk to women in Big Bang, right? I think so. Yeah. This, do they drop that that bit? Surely. Surely. Does he find happiness? I actually don't think he does. Because they all they all they have all an have offset, the, don't they? they, all, they except for him. Yeah. I don't, That's so awful to I, Raj. I don't, I want to I want to give Big Bang Theory the 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 benefit of the doubt and that he he works that he doesn't need a woman maybe you know God how powerful would that be uh, Exactly that's the thing Damn Season. do we think that happens I want to say Tune so. into 11 seasons and find out I got to tell you Let's start with Young Sheldon first though We got to we've got to build up You don't be ridiculous they've laid it out pretty well that the Big Bang, Young Sheldon, and then the third spinoff that's coming into May. You know, very what's excited. the third spinoff? They are talking about also doing another spinoff series. of who though? We don't know. I would love their elder years. Oh yeah, of they course. should do the Golden Girls, but with the cast of that would be huge. The, let me get just, a producer on the what line. What if it keeps getting more prestigious? Because this people are quite enamored by Young Sheldon. I know. I would love it to get more. Pre- Imagine if by the end of it they've got like a Breaking Bad on their hands. Yeah, exactly. They're just like they're like you've got to watch twelve. Different shows and spin-offs of lore to get to the Breaking Bad, yeah. but it's so good. God, it's so good. They really, they really, they really nailed Raj's grandfather, and that's really the story you want to get into. Mm. Anyway, uh, Dave is a bad manager because he's letting these boys get real tired. No, Ian, that's after. Yeah, sorry. Ian is a bad manager. He's making these boys work for it. And the fact that you now say they get 15 hours sleep means that they're barely resting. They're barely getting through. They're falling asleep in the booth while yeah. they're singing. Their concerts aren't good. No. And eventually, somebody's going to say to them, hey, why don't you just lip sync? This is cheating. This is not on. This is disgusting. Uh, Foul, if you will. I got to tell you, now, now, although he's like, hey, chalking chipmunks is what's going to sell. I think the biggest thing you do not want if you're selling these chipmunks is the any idea that, that, they, they're, not, that yeah, they're not that actually they're talking. Yeah. Because you can train some chipmunks to dance, but it ain't going to pull out this crowd. It ain't no, going to pull out this crowd. Not. Yeah, I would be very worried. I've got to tell you. Mm. Um, where do we stand on lip syncing? Because I know that it was a really big deal if you did it, but mm. I don't think it matters. I'm not too fussed. Yeah, I wonder what was the narrative around... Someone got massively like in the early two thousands. It got stopped. But I've se- I've been to concerts. Yeah. Where the artist has been sick. Yeah. And, you know, I guess if they get caught. Mm. But like, I would love like some people are like I'm canceling because I'm too sick. I can't do this performance. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Yeah. If someone came out and was just like, I'm gonna just mouth it. I guess if, I was thinking if you can get away with it, great. Yeah. I'm now thinking I'll do a lot of ours lip sync and we just don't know. Well, they've got. Backing, very heightened backing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So they could they the just chipmunks hit or just certain... any uh, any, artist. <laughs> <laughs> any artist. Yeah. Um. But if if there was like an artist that was sick and they were like, look, I'm well enough to give you the full show, mm. but my voice act simply can't do it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna 
mouth it and you guys are going to get your tickets worth of a show, yes. I would still be happy. I would I would be happy with that. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. However, you must then go, ooh, do I just lie and say I actually was singing? Because then you've lost nobody. Mm. And then nobody. Because I feel like somebody must be like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, so they've got this big final performance. Yes. Um. Dave's gonna. Dave wants them back, but I'm yeah. not. Because well, he's lonely. I think Dave's. I guess again, it gets muddy because I feel like he's also in it for the money because he hasn't got a job, and I think he hasn't got a job since uh, they've left. Yeah. So he's kind of like. Well, he's uh, not a good songwriter. No, he's not. He's ganked. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Time for joy and time for there. I can make that up. Yeah. And then he's ganked Witch Doctor, or he's made Witch I mean, Doctor come up with in it. 2007, which is crazy. Yeah, huge but for God, 2007. It's God, it's a bop. It would, it would hit. Um, crazy how good the backing sounds. Like when when the Chipmunks do their performances, the backing singers like overpower the Chipmunks' yeah. voice. So does I, the band. I gotta tell you, although like they're Don't. talking Chipmunks. Don't. Would you go to the show? Because I think. Oh I would. yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, I'd go. Yeah, I thought you were going to be like, nah, this. Sold- I'd listen to this. It's kind. Of, listen, them in the club is a bit like they've sold out, but fuck, you know what? They're kind of nailing it. Absolutely. I mean, you'd go if there's a talking chip. Oh, of course. Um, but my thing is that are you more impressed by the talking chipmunk element of it or the song of it all? Um, I think what the production is. If they're going to do synchronized dancing as chipmunks, yeah, hell's yeah, yeah. I think the real issue you're going to have is like, so they sell out a big stadium. Yeah. How you can't see them. I mean, you, you would maybe you have to saw, do a magnifying you, glass over. Okay, you yeah, know? or just a big. You saw Taylor Swift. Mm. You're kind of far away. Yes, you can see her, but like, were you looking at the screen or were you looking at Taylor? No, we we had pretty decent seats. Okay, brag about it. So, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, no, I mean, not like we have the best seats in the world, but you could still like you could pay attention to the stage if she came to that side of. Yeah, like, but were you looking at the little Taylor Swift, or were you looking at the screen most of the time? Um, I guess it depended because her setup was like the screen would go to her yeah. in the back, mm-hmm. and then if it didn't, you would just be watching her. Okay, fair enough. So it was. Listen, I, I, I'd be happy to watch them on screen. I you know? would just be, they're just so tiny. They are tiny. They're just so tiny. But there's tiny. no way around you'd that want, again. You'd want like a nice intimate acoustic set from them, I think. Oh God, venue. this would be beautiful at Las Vegas. Right. I'm surprised I didn't get read. Could you residency. imagine them covering Adele songs with their whiny voices? God, it would be kind of beautiful, it I It would. I'd probably cry. Oh, Anyway, Dave uh, goes to their big... They're about to go on tour. They're about to get China. It's a year-long tour. Again, yeah, they're going to go, yeah, go to their Yeah, they're going to go to France. Yeah, that's right. They're going to... A third of their life's going to go. Yeah. And they're tired. They're... Do you think they're aware? Because I feel like a chipmunk in general does not know it's old or going to die or has three years. Yeah. Whereas these guys have, you know, self-awareness and therefore might know they're going to perish. Mm. You know, if you got told... Pretty much, hey, you've got three years to live. I wish it was done like um, the that Guillermo del Toro Pinocchio film. Mm. And at the end of it, uh, it turns out Pinocchio is just cursed with eternity. Oh, goodness. And everyone he ever loves dies. Yeah. I mean, that would be a Wouldn't fitting, that be... It'd be a fitting end for Alvin because he's yeah. very annoying. Yeah. And I think he deserves that fate. Yeah, yeah. I think so. The, the It all happens. Yeah. You know, they get him back. Shit goes know, down. I don't know the it's league... pretty decent. It's not a very good climax. Right? It's crazy that like yeah. Dave's like locked them in a cage, is like, you're gone, and Dave's like in a ch- car chase. And I guess the producers are like, we're not paying. We're not gonna that. bother. We're not gonna bother. I that. thought it was gonna end on a big musical number as well. They don't even do that. No, they've like, got this big stage, yeah. all this sort of stuff. I thought they were gonna be like, Yeah, we were lip syncing that, but now Dave's back and we're happy, we're gonna give you a really good song. We're yeah, give you a good show now, no. and it would end on that. No. It really just uh, like like most music biopics. Kind of just ends. Yeah, it should end on their version of Live Aid. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great, huh? They would have brought in so much money. Oh, my God. It'd be huge. We wouldn't even be talking about Queen (laughs) if Alvin and the Chipmunks were at Live Aid. Imagine Bohemian Rhapsody having to go, listen, we finished there. And then I guess you would have to talk about the Chipmunks because it was the big event. Yeah, it was the the big event. It was the big get. God, God, it'd be huge. Carl, who would watch Alvin and the Chipmunks? Um, Obviously... Every generation. Yeah. All yeah. right, cool. All right, we're a total agreement there. Total it's, agreement. It's yeah. apparently for everyone. Yeah. I don't know who would watch it, mm. but 
history and money talks yeah. and they're never going to stop and so clearly it's like I don't get the appeal of the minions but they are a hit it they is, are a it thing. is one of those like behemoth things you kind of go who is really watching this I guess it's kids, but I mean, it's still doing so well. Adults really like Minions. Yeah. It's the same with... But it's like, these things are lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Like, you can watch so many other things and be like, wow, these people really want these to be the next Minions. And they just don't take off. No. Like, when you watch Despicable Me... It, you can tell they don't know what they've they got. They, no, exactly. Yeah, it really they, and like it's so weird watching that first movie yeah. because it's just sort of comic relief, but really yeah. they don't really want to. They're use a them. fun concept for the side characters of what is the first Despicable. Yes, movie. yeah. But um, my God, they go gangbusters. Yeah, but yeah. No, these I remember so many watching so many Alvin and Chipmunks, our Alvin and Chipmunk vibe songs on YouTube when it first popped up 2007. Yeah. Which is huge. But um it is it is scratches an itch that I think Witch Doctor does, yeah. <laughs> right? You can't explain it, but like that little tune is like, "Oh, that's kind of fun." And you can't it there's no science to it. I'm sure there is, but no one's been able to like if there was, somebody would have actually like harnessed it yeah. and used it. It's just something you can't ex- explain. And it is crazy that someone greenlit this for 60 million dollars. Like, this is an insane gamble, it seems, and yet it's not. It's made so much money. It is interesting because it's like, it's a gamble now, but I guess back in 2007, like, Garfield was a hit. Like, it was like, mm. if you were just making a studio children's movie with animated leads, yeah. it just made money. Have these gone away, or are they just more, are we just not seeing them on Netflix? Because I feel like Netflix has its own, like, little section. It's like, we know what kids want, we're going to just show it, we're not going to bother even showing you. I mean, this. $60 million in 2007 is pretty expensive it now. It is huge, right? So, it's probably just, like, it is a lot of money and time to, mm. like, do this. Yeah. I guess, like, you know, Paddington goes to cinema, but it doesn't make anywhere near as much money as these movies. No. Uh, the Smurfs, I guess, were of their time. I don't know. I don't know if there is one now with like an animated lead. I don't know. I guess what like Disney stuff and everything like they sort of always sort of make money, mm. like Wish and Elemental and stuff like that. But I guess maybe there is just a. Like, I guess maybe we, like before you'd have to see it at the cinemas. You have to walk past. You see a trailer. Like if you're seeing any generic film, you'd get the ad for this. Yeah. Whereas I think on Netflix now it's just divided. We're mm. never going to be able to see these sort of kid films pop up. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. it's also very much like the time you release it. Mm. Like, I think I think the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies are Christmas releases. And it's sometimes so. it's just like being really good counter-programming matters. Yeah. Like, Wonka was a breakout hit because it just, it's the right time of the year for people to really be wanting to go to the movies with, like, the, the kids. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this movie sort of disappeared. What do you mean? Like the this this sort of animated lead? Oh yes, yes. Children's family fit. Yeah, I don't really know what's replaced it now. I guess TikTok. I don't know. We're we have our. We lives. don't have kids. We don't. We and don't it's know. not our problem. It's not our fucking problem. We don't care that it's gone away. Care. These movies were never good anyway. No. Yeah. Crazy. There's four, three of them, more of them. I know. And they only get so much worse. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah. This is. Not fine. I think the grading songs, but this is a fine. Oh, I hated this, but it's it is fine. Yeah. Yeah. The the I mean it's not fine. It, it's bad. This yeah. is very bad, but, but like, for what kid, it is, I'm yeah. like, oh I can understand a I child just, enjoying I just think it's this. It's funny that they've taken the 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 narrative arc of every fucking biopic. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. I wonder what the other ones are. I have got no idea. I they know, I know have iconic sequel subtitles. They do. The Squeakwool, The I Road think, Chip, and I think Shipwreck. I taken over Electric Boogaloo yeah. as the sort of default sequel. The Squeakwool, yeah. which is so dependent on a, a rodent-esque film. Mm. God, they're good. Yeah, it's so genius. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright. We done? We're done. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>